A. Oh, pay that banana rento. It's episode 90 of the Youth Squad Legends series with AFC Wimbledon. Premier League standings are looking like this. AFC Wimbledon are third. Same points as the team we're going to play against right now. Everton. So it's second against third. If Manchester City slip up as well, this might be the top spot. It's a very good team, but they're slightly tired. That's our advantage right now. Everton against AFC Wimbledon. Ball going to Moyes Keane there. No, Jacob Vieira now just sticks a foot in. Enzo Bari off to Callum. Oh, Flannery. Oh, sly tackles in quick. But Callum or Flannery, he's not giving it up. Go on, Callum. Easy cross to deal with. Schneg taking it down with the control. Jacob Vieira and now run, Callum, run. Oh, he's off. It's Callum. Oh, Flannery, run. Go on, lad. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, -ho. that is speed right there. Nah, that's a bad pass. A lot of trouble. Schneg's kicked a man. Look, Schneg, this is not acceptable. The ball's gone, lad. The ball's gone. Schneg. Are they ever going to take this throw in? We've done a lot of attacking through that right-hand side. It's now for the left-hand side with bright chateau. Off you go, son. Adam Nichols got to be calm. Goes back to Enzo Bardi. <laughs> And picks out Calamore Flannery, beautiful. Dinier is not going to forget this encounter for a long, long time. Calamore Flannery has been all over him. Have another 45 minutes like that. Bright Chateau. A conquo. Mmm, it's Calamore Flannery. Goodness me, the acceleration is immediate. Calamore! Ho, oh, ho! Oh. You don't understand. Referee's actually given us the benefit today. Unbelievable. Can we have him every single week? It's a lovely ball in. Oh no, Enzo Bardi wants his clean sheet. And when Enzo Bardi wants something, he gets it because he's that good. Give me them three points. Yes, lads. Great victory. Unbelievable performance that. A brace by Callum. Oh, Flannery run. I tell you what, it would have been nice to play someone like Ipswich instead of Spurs. But here we are. We've had to put in a pretty solid side, even though it is one of the early rounds in the Carabao Cup. Right, it seems like Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in a Carabao Cup match is louder than Goodison Park when it's playing host to second against third in the Premier League. Boris Diopovic. Once it again, it's Boris! It's a goal for Wimbledon! And all of a sudden, this stadium's got a bit quiet. What a shame. I've got a fly in the window buzzing its ass off. It's too bright in here. I'm still feeling terribly rough, but my team is playing very well. Go on, Anderson. He loves physical battles, does Anderson. Palulu, oh my goodness. Dan Cohn. Oh, it's caught up in the bodies. I think Dan Cohn could have done better there. It needs to be paused. I'm gonna have to shut these curtains. I gave you a chance, son. I thought the clouds were gonna cover you, but nah, mate. Everything in my little world's going wrong. Son can never behave properly, so a man has to shut the curtains all the time. Oh, pop off, popping off. Not the time, lad. Boris Diopovic stretching out the play. Go back to Hans Maripan. He's open. And he's got a score. Full time here. 1-1. We'll give it our best shot in the penalty shootout. But we're already knocked out, to be honest. Oh, man. I've just seen myself on the camera. I mean, not looking too great. Why is Okonkwo doing the stretches? He's been on the pitch for two minutes. Harry Kane. And puts it top corner. Like, you can't get near that. Boris Diopovic. Oh, where do I go here? I'm going to try and go top left. Come on, Boris. Hey! Good penalty. It's Popov. Yes! Get in, Dan Cone. Just went the same direction as his uh, wonder goal early up in the game. Obi Jackers going down low to the left. Get in! We're actually leading in the penalty shootout. It's a miracle. Atavio... Oh, it's missed! Ha <laughs> ha! Well, this is an absolute shocker. A conquo. Oh, wow, we're 3-1 up in the penalty shootout. Dan Cohn, to be a hero, kind of, against Saw. I'm going right. Oh, he's missed it. 
Wow! To say I'm surprised is a little bit of an understatement. Imagine getting Spurs in round four of the Carabao Cup. Like, what are you doing to us? It's AFC Wimbledon against Leeds United. Hooray! He goes Eric Melville. He's dragging it back there to Django Swinkles. Everybody's in a mess. I thought Obi Jackers was offside, but he's not. And that is a fine finish. It's Wimbledon 1, Leeds United 0. Gotta be careful here. Little turn. Oh. Schneegar saved by Enzo Bardi. A Conquo's going. A brilliant pass. It's Laura Conquo. Thuk, Thuk, uh, Yes, missed the tackle. Thuk, you! Yeah. Oh, Conquo! With a solo run. You thought you'd never see the day. Oh, Conquo. Oh, Conquo. Whoa, presto, we get a goal. He got the power, you know. Thug is indestructible. Always believing. No Conquo. Whoa. I want to release an autobiography of Mikel Conquo. Eric Melville might be getting a third. He's down. It's a penalty. Let's go bottom right for a change. It's Eric Melville. Okay, goalkeeper also went bottom right. Right, Chato decided to keep everybody on side. Enzo Bardi, mega cluck. Lovely save, that. Enzo Bardi flying around the place to get another clean sheet. He wants the golden glove by the end of this season. Go on, lad. Enzo Bardi. Jacob Vieira swings the ball in. Oi, Eric Melville on the end of the cross. Simply sensational stuff from AFC Wimbledon in this first half. Let's go back to the build-up because I'm pretty sure Enzo Bardi just makes the player. Just like to inform everybody that this is our goalkeeper. Yep. <laughs> Casually putting the nutmeg on one of uh, Leeds United's outfield players. That fly's still there. That fly has started buzzing and now I must blame the fly for conceding a goal. Here comes Schneg. Who's missed it? He completely missed it. Another ball just being dragged back. Ay, 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 lads. When it went to a one goal cushion, we've been very sensible in protecting the lead. Back heel. He's onside, apparently. Enzo Bardi, what a lad. Referee call full time. That's it. All right, it shouldn't have been as tense at the end. Wimbledon have themselves the victory. Where's Enzo Bardi in that lot? Clean sheets. Only got two, but then again, Pickford's only got four. That defense really needs to be tighter than what it is right now. Now, of course, we've got the news. Body decisive save against Leeds. I mean, you can replace Leeds with any other team. And that's probably the story of that week. Borussia Dortmund coming to plow lane now. Conquo just breezes past one player and sets up Bobby Jackers for an easy finish. It's just more of the same, really. Borussia Dortmund do not like... A Conquo's aggressiveness. And then giving Obi Jackers the time on his right foot to pick out the bottom corner. We will happily take your place in the knockout stages. Now for the breakaway by Gallimore Flannery. Goodness me. He's gone. He's really gone. Back to a Conquo. Gone. Oh. Gallum. Oh. Flannery. Run. This is very similar to what we do against Man United. Really similar. How has Obi Jackers not been called offside there? Because it was behind the goalkeeper. Kind of interfering. Most of the Premier League teams kind of know that we're a counter-attacking side. But Manchester United simply can't deal with it. In the same way that Dortmund are not able to deal with this. I'm going to bring keeper out. Enzo ah! Bardi! Yes! Why isn't anyone thinking, you know what? If Callum or Flannery breaks free, we're in trouble. That's a foul. Play it right there to Ruben Cook. On the volley! Oh! What an effort by Ruben Cook! Men against boys here. Ah! Great save, Enzo Bardi. Hey, hang on, what? How is that a penalty? Oh, Enzo Bardi. A few minutes before half time. Bright Chateau's ball. No, that's not how you clear it. No, no. All of these defenders have a mistake in them. And they're lucky to be defenders in a top quality team because if they didn't have Enzo Bardi behind them, I probably would have lost patience giving the ball to them. Uh, chip over Enzo Bardi makes it a 3-2 game. I've seen this before. Schneg this time with the mistake. Eric Melville choosing that speed, that tenacity to run the time out. It's the final whistle and Wimbledon have beat Dortmund by three goals to two.
but don't let the scoreboard fool you. We had a significant amount of control there. Gotta give the players all the credit in the world. To be second place at this point is a miracle. Leicester City against AFC Wimbledon. Okonkwo goes back to Ruben Cook. There you are, set up Okonkwo! Oh no, not on the screen. I'm not having to fly on my screen. Get out of there. They play the game in a similar fashion to us. Break quick, get people forward. And Sorensen's in. There's a goal for Leicester. Take the point, because it felt like my players were playing in mud. Complete domination by Leicester City. Twice the amount of shots and three times the amount of shots on target. Enzo Bordi, I salute you. I'm absolutely knackered now. I'm looking forward to a rest. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time. Bye.